now and companies are adopting. If we're going to go through them like quickly, we can see that predictive human capital management powered by behavioral analysis, uh, online on-demand AI enabled platforms, intelligent chatbots. Chatbots now are being utilized in many different uh, aspects in, within uh, the talent acquisition or the talent HR landscape. Of course, AI-based recruiting, uh, data-driven uh, insights. We go to the second slide, Dima. We can see also people are focusing now on getting gamification, human and AI collaboration for better decisions and learning. So the whole world is now in the HR landscape is changing and is being powered and driven by AI mainly. This is all to speed up the process and for you uh, to make better decisions at the end of the day. This is why we use technology. We always need faster and better decisions to make. Um, this is where the AI would come in hand and support us in doing and making all these decisions. Um, can you go next, Dima, please? So before we start anything and before we jump into a demo, so what is a video assessment, basically? Uh, in very simple words, we put it down, we wrote it. It's also known as on-demand or pre-recorded interviews or asynchronous interviews. So it is a new method enabled by technology where you simply allow the candidates to record answers to a set of questions using a video. And then uh, back at the, your office, you can, after you send out these questions, you can start watching one video at a time and assessing at your own time uh, without even bothering the candidate to come over to, to, to the workplace or to, you, to the office, basically. Uh, to jump into the next slide, a very simple description about artificial intelligence. Of course, if we want to jump and explain this, this needs a whole webinar by itself. But in IBM uh, understanding or actually definition, uh, I took the simplest uh, uh, definition we have out there. Artificial intelligence enables computers and machines to mimic the perception, learning, problem solving, and decision making capabilities of the human mind. So we at Elevators and many companies as well, what we're trying to achieve is add the AI element into the video assessment. And this has many, many applications and benefits. So if we jump to the next slide, Dino, what are some of the applications that AI video assessments are being used for? So mainly, we're going to focus on two uh, aspects, which is the talent acquisition, training, and development. Well, of course, companies are being extremely, uh, uh, they, they have these new ideas where they are using the same application in different departments for different purposes. So some companies are using it for service, some are using it for student assessment, some are using it even for medical checks, uh, and even uh, psychometric analysis. So we're going to go at the very end of the presentation and give you a small examples of each. But in this, today's webinar, we're going to focus on the HR landscape and how they're going to benefit you. Some of the benefits of the AI video assessments are as follows. They can actually, through case studies, they can actually reduce time to hire by 90%. These are actual numbers by automating the whole interview sessions. And there's a special case that we're going to go in details and exactly tell you how it reduces the time. Of course, reducing time equals reduction in cost and recruitment costs mainly. Of course, AI element comes in here and from the facial expression, and from what the person says and the tone of voice, we can extract a lot, a lot, a lot of data. And here we were able uh, as elevators to, from all this data gathered, we can actually generate a personality analysis report of an accuracy of 85% out of these videos. So imagine all this information that you have from a video, you can see their question, you can see their answers, and you can see their own personality based on something called the big five factor models, which we're gonna go through. Uh, the demo. Of course, this new technology is also increasing the candidate engagement. So we, we found out that 87% there was more response in get in doing these interviews, especially in today's generation, everyone's using, you know, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, they're all used to videos. So videos is something interesting for them. They, they want to do the interviews through video technology and the most advanced technology. It's not only send out the CV and that's it. And I just have to sit and uh, wait for my turn. Um, and one thing that is really important, especially with introducing AI is to be unbiased AI. And this is something that is not quite easy to do because if 
you were biased in training the AI from the first place, then the AI would be biased and would give you even wrong result or even disqualify some of the most, let's say, fit candidates to the job that they're applying to if you're using it for a talent acquisition mainly. So this is something that uh, elevators actually focused on building an AI that is unbiased and can actually do the matching based on the aspects that you're looking for within a specific application, for example. Uh, if you go and jump to the next slide. So now we're going to start with the demo. I want to introduce you to our superstar, honestly, Dima Bukhain. Uh She's our success customer management in Elevators. And uh, she's going to go through, show you a full demo of how we can create a video assessment and uh, how we can utilize the AI in the very first phase. And then we're going to show you the outcomes. How would the video assessment show you the results at the end of the day? Uh, so Dima, please uh, show them what, what we have and explain. Um, sure. Please, if you have any questions at any time, just stop us so we can answer your questions. Sure. Thank you so much, Yao, for this introduction. And hello, everyone. We are so excited to have you here on board with us. Uh, in this session, uh, just as Yao mentioned, I'll be demonstrating and giving you uh, a quick demonstration about how video assessments can be utilized, how can you build a video assessment, how can you train the AI algorithm with the information that you need to get better insights and better results from this assessment. Of course, how to give you insights about the candidate from their personality reports, and of course, collaborate with your team members to cut the time in from scheduling to um, um, meeting candidates to meeting with your team members to discuss a certain candidate. All that can, of course, be done through a video assessment tool that is powered by artificial intelligence. So now, starting with the product demo, I'll be showing you how to create a new assessment. Just as Yaoub mentioned, a video assessment tool could have different use cases. As you can see, you can create an assessment for hiring purposes, for onboarding purposes, product surveys, employee assessment, medical reviews, and psychometrics. So now let's focus our attention on the hiring segment and see how would an assessment, building an assessment for an HR person would look like. It's a very, very simple steps. All you need to do is simply have that position in mind, be creative with the questions, set a structured assessment and distribute it to all the applicants or the candidates that, are, that you're looking to learn more about. So now, starting with building the assessment. Of course, you can build it from scratch if you think you have the time to, but you can also get to choose a template. So let's say now we're looking to interview or to know more about a salesperson. So we'd want to create a template for a sales position. Once I click on the sales position, all the information built in this template that we have previously set will be parsed. Starting with the video introduction. Of course, to add like the human element, the human interaction, we would highly recommend adding a video introduction to your video assessment. This tool will actually, or this feature feature will actually be the first thing that candidates will see to engage with you, with your company, um, and know more about the person representing the company, the process that they will be going through. So it's basically adding more the human element. Looking at the type of questions, you as a recruiter with a video assessment tool will have a full control over the assessment, starting with the question types. You can go with open questions or hidden questions. You might be asking yourself, what is the difference between open and hidden questions? Open questions will actually allow candidates to read the question, prepare their answers, and just take it when, whenever they are ready. Hidden questions will actually imitate the real life interview. It's like you're having a real life conversation with a candidate or with an applicant. You're asking them the question and the system, the video assessment tool will only give them 30 seconds to prepare before the video starts recording automatically. So just like to give you some example, most of my clients actually go for a behavioral assessment initially where they set the questions to open and they if you if then if they want to move to a technical assessment they do test their candidates with a hidden assessment if i may if i may dima sorry to interrupt if you go if you sure. can just go back. so guys uh, you see that that video that is there 
you know, it's, it's not only a video assessment that you are letting the candidate take, but it's a huge opportunity for you as an employer to build your employer branding. I mean, you know, candidates are so frustrated that they have no idea where they are sending their profile to imagine there you are sitting in a video format and sharing, sharing with them about your company, about your culture, about the position. It's gonna immediately put you ahead of your competition and, and will immediately engage so many different uh, candidates. That's number one. The number two part, which is she's talking about the hidden and, and open, there's also a very interesting application. If I'm hiring for a receptionist or a customer service, I want that person to be, to, to be able to respond uh, on their feet, you know, so there's no time to think about it. So that's where I'm gonna keep the question open. Uh, uh, I'm gonna keep it uh, hidden, right? Uh, and so that so that they can immediately see the question and answer them. But if we are hiring for a senior management where we don't care about how, how quickly they respond to the question, we wanna think, we, we are judging their thinking capability. So we wanna give them the time to look at the question and take their time to think about an answer because all we care about is how, if, if they have come up with the right answer or not. Thank you, Dima. Thank you, Imran. Just as Imran mentioned, the, the introduction video adds a, a major effect on the conversion rate. So wh whoever is going to use the video assessment at some point, I really encourage you to, to focus on your branding by adding such a, uh, such a representative video. Now let's move to an interesting part, which is building the assessment. Building the assessment could look um, easy through building through this tool where you all you need to do is simply add a question, control the time limit for each question, and of course, control the number of allowed retakes in case the candidate did not succeed from the first time or they had like any inconvenience noises around them. It would be nice to be flexible with applicants and allow them some retakes. Now, let's talk about the AI element or the AI technology that is embedded behind this video assessment tool. Looking over here, we have a model answer and expected keywords. So this video assessment tool brought it all in one place. Imagine you having to interview some candidates as an HR, but you don't really have that technical background where you actually need the support of the hiring manager and the technical people who would actually tell you whether the candidate answered that perfectly or not. To do that, all you need to do is simply focus on the tool without really talking to your colleagues. You can simply add a model answer here. A model answer would be the perfect answer that you're looking to hear from the candidate. And of course, leave the rest for the AI. The AI will analyze the model answer and of course, compare it to the candidate's answer to give you a relevancy matching. With this relevancy matching, you will not actually need to watch all the videos. It's saving you so much time and giving you insights about how relevant the candidate's answer is to your model answer. Moving to the next step with the expected keywords. So imagine you're interviewing a candidate and trying to look for specific keywords. You might sometimes feel unfocused during the interview. So the AI will also do that on your behalf. Simply add the expected keywords that you're looking to hear and the system will analyze the candidate's answer to highlight them in a specific color to know that the candidates mentioned those keywords. Of course, this will help you and your team to all collaborate in assessing candidates for that specific position. Of course, not to forget to mention, just as Imran mentioned, this tool, the video assessment, especially the AI behind it, supports different languages, and Arabic is one of them. You can add as many questions as you want. I do recommend you not to bother the candidate nor yourself with more than five questions, but let's say we built the questions and now we're moving ahead with the inviting team members. Video assessment tools also allows you to collaborate better with your team members, engage with them instead of scheduling meetings, discussing candidates applications and status all within this specific tool. So imagine this was giving you also the candidate the full flexibility to watch the candidate's video based on your time convenience. So imagine you coming to the office, having your copy, having your coffee, and start watching the candidate's videos. So now we want to add some can some team members to collaborate, and then we want to invite candidates. Of course, inviting candidates can happen in different ways. If we have a mass number of candidates, we can upload a CSV file. And if you have 
um, like only a couple of names, you can simply add them one by one. Not to forget to mention that the deadline can also be assigned to the video assessment. Let's imagine together sending a video assessment to 50 candidates, for example, and giving them two days, two, three working days. I'm not sure if you can really do it in real life, like interviews, but with a video assessment tool powered by artificial intelligence, of course, you can do that. In this section, you can, of course, customize the message for each candidate and then finish to, to distribute the assessment. If you have any questions, please go ahead. Feel free to interrupt me at any time, ask me, or simply submit them so that we can get to tackle them by the end of the presentation. Now, let's see how the results would look like. We've distributed the assessment, we've set it, and now we're ready to start receiving candidates' results. If we go to manage assessment, we can see the active and the archived assessment. Let's dig in deeper to look at the interesting part. Upon moving the assessment, we'll be redirected to this pipeline view, as you can see. This pipeline view actually presents the stages that candidates will go through in your company until they get hired or disqualified. I'm sure each of you at, at each of your companies, you all have like a specific cycle that candidates would go through depending on the seniority level, the, the position itself or the department. So through this video assessment tool, you can of course customize different pipelines and you can automate your processes by simply adding or linking each stage with a call to action. So if we think we have a qualified candidate, we can simply drag and drop the candidate to the next step so that they would receive an automated message, automated invitation to an interview, automated offer all within the system without the need to actually contact, contact that candidate um, uh, individually. Now let's dig in deeper in the assessment results. So we have Nael, one of the candidates who completed the assessment. From this pop-up model, you can read a lot and get so much insight about the candidates beyond what you can see in their resumes or inter while interviewing face-to-face. -face. As you can see here, we can read the question, the first question, and we can view the videos one by one. Let's play one of the videos, for example. Hi, my name is Nael Shichida. Uh, I'm a biomedical engineer. I have studied in German Jordanian University, and I was very fortunate enough to have experience, trained, and worked in Germany. So imagine with just single clicks, you're able to watch the candidate's video based on your own convenience. Now, looking at the AI and how the technology helped us and how it did it interfere in this video assessment tool. As you can see here, since we have assigned some keywords that we're looking to hear, the AI did his own work. So you basically train the AI. It's like you're, it's like a replica. You're just giving them the insights or the, the words and the AI is doing the work. They are analyzing the candidate's video and they are highlighting the words that were mentioned in blue. Of course, if relevant keywords were also mentioned, they will get highlighted in yellow because the artificial intelligence, we all know how AI is helping us in our daily life just as it's doing in the HR industry. It understands beyond the meaning of words. So it's not focusing on exact keyword matching, but it's also focusing also on the relevancy. This is how we also can see it in the model answer. So upon adding a model answer, you can see a relevancy percentage reflected for each video. So if we move to the second video, we can see that the candidate's answer matched 84%. Go ahead. Yeah, sure, Imran. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, so, so guys, as you can see that, you know, we have been, we have been using this assessment tool and the decision maker and HR are loving it. They're loving it because you, you just saw 10 seconds of the video of this gentleman and you are already building some impression about him. His presentation, his communication, his attitude, his composure, you know, it's already telling you a little bit about this, 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 this candidate. You know, it happens with us all the time, you know, that, you know, when we schedule an interview, the guy comes over, it takes a week to schedule that interview and he comes over and we say, oh my God, you know, why on earth did I call them uh, for an interview in the first five minutes? So here you can clearly see 
that you know you can you can get so much information and you know we are sharing it with some of the c-suite uh, within our clients and they are saying my god this is saving them so much time also to add on what you said Hamran, um sometimes like nowadays we can all see so many sophisticated resumes it could be written by someone who assisted the candidate so instead of inviting the candidate um and you might honestly get disappointed <laughs> you can simply send them a video assessment to get a first impression before you really invite them uh, in-house no so now let's go back to how the ai would disrupt this process looking at the candidate's video looking at the keywords looking at the model answer but i think that we still lack some information about the candidate's personality also the ai resolved this part so it's also giving you insights beyond what we saw in the resume what we watched in the video with a personality report, a full psychometric comprehensive report about the candidate with his or her big five personality traits. Of course, those personality traits reflect the candidate's personality. It's giving you more insights about how would they deal in different situations, how outgoing, how energetic, how friendly those candidates are. That would actually other than giving you insights, it's actually helping you make better decisions in terms of the specific position that you're looking to hire for. So as you can see here, we're looking, let's say, to hire a salesperson. And Nael scored 78%, which is quite high in openness, but he scored 72 as agreeableness. We all know that salespeople should have less agreeableness percentage. They, they need to say no more often than yes. They need to be more challenging, need to negotiate contracts and be like firm. So I think having like this high percentage of agreeableness wouldn't be the best, but that would help us tackle this point in an, in an interview. We can ask the candidate, like, how would you, um, like, um, I would say, how would you perhaps negotiate a contract with an enterprise company or uh, for like a salesperson? How do you handle people from different backgrounds? It's giving you insights. Beyond those numbers that you're seeing here on this graph, you can read more and know more insights. Of course, I cannot stress enough that this report is fully dynamic for each candidate. You can read more about their personality traits, how would those traits affect their learning styles, how would those affect their capability to lead performance in sales, and of course, since the five-factor model is a science that's existing in the psychology field for more than 40 or 50 years now, we have attached the references over here for you to see and uh, know more about the white papers that this science was built based on. Going back to the assessment, of course, you have a discussion panel to collaborate with your team members and decide on the next steps all within this discussion panel over here. I would like to focus a bit on this specific feature that is really disrupting the process of assessing candidates and eliminating the screening time from the videos as well. As we can see here, there is a percentage. This percentage is actually reflecting how much the candidates' answers are close to the model answers that you have previously set. Taking it to the next step, a video assessment tool powered by AI will give you a full flexibility to manage the weights of these questions. You might be confused about what does manage weights mean. Manage weights actually allows you to train the AI to focus on a specific question more than the other. So let's say for the first question, you wouldn't want the AI to consider the model answer. But for the second question, you would want the AI to focus fully on it, to give it 100%. Upon saving, the results will get um, adjusted based on these percentages. So we had like 40s for Farah, and now we have it 55 also for Nael as well. So through this video assessment tool, just to summarize, you can share assessments with mass number of applicants. You can get insights about their personality, about their uh, cultural fit to your company, of course, and you can eliminate time and cost in doing the screening process, scheduling the interviews, and of course, reflect a great uh, image about your company that you are um, adapting to the latest in technology and you are using the artificial intelligence within your, within your company, especially when you're hiring Gen Z and millennials. 
So now I think I'll leave the mic back to Yaoub, my colleague. And of course, we'd love to hear uh, your feedback. And if you have any questions, just simply drop them to uh, answer them by the end of the call. Thank you. Thank you, Dima, for, uh, for the demo. Uh, basically, as, as you saw, with a simple video assessment tool, you automated all the interviews when it comes to hiring. You, we were able to generate a lot of data. Uh, we were able to even eliminate watching all the videos by just managing the weight. Using the artificial intelligence, we can focus, show me the top candidates who answered this following question. And based on that, we can actually automate the whole interviewing process. And then we took it a step further where the AI gave us the personality. And from that personality, companies are doing wonderful stuff and actually at the end of the day, making a better decision, whether to hire that person or to move them from one department to another based on their personality. Uh, if we jump to the next slide, Dima, basically, uh, I wanna talk about a case study that we actually uh, successfully completed uh, a month ago with one of the leading telecom companies in Oman. Basically, they had a challenge. The challenge is to interview 2,400 people in just two months. And that was almost impossible. They, how would they be able to do that? We asked them a couple of questions and we found out that one interview usually takes 40 minutes. So imagine 40 minutes, you can multiply them by 2,400 applicants. That's uh, 96,000 minutes, which is equivalent to 1,600 1, hours. This, if we have one HR only doing the interviews, this requires 200 full working days to complete this task. Luckily for them, they had five employees at that time. And that means that they had to do it all in 40 days. But this is assuming many, many, many factors. This is assuming that they fully work eight hours and a half per day, nonstop interviewing, no lunch break, no bathroom breaks, Candidates come in time, candidates leave in time, no preparation time for the, each uh, interview, no notes taken whatsoever. And you just fully focus on doing one thing and one thing only. And that is quite impossible to do. So with Elevators, they came to us and we offered uh, the video assessment AI tool. And basically they were able to conduct 2,400 assessments in only five days. So if you jump to the next slide, what did they achieve? by using the AI video assessment tool. They were able to reduce, as I mentioned, that number of days from 60 days down to five days. Even it was, it can be done even less than that, but this is the time that they have taken to actually watch the interviews and uh, review each uh, single applicant. They were able to build a centralized visual database. Let's say you, you missed a, an interview or you forgot how Dima performed in one of the interviews. Basically, you can come back to that video and watch her answers. So anyone who was not able to come at that time and watch the interview or be in the interview, they can watch it at any time and be there. Of course, something that they really focus on is the AI to be extremely fair and unbiased towards anyone. And this is something that they achieved by the AI when it was trained in the very first place, it didn't take into consideration skin color, ethnicity uh, or anything else, just took the facial expressions as is. From these five days, they were able to actually get a return on investment of 300%. How is that calculated? Basically, for each interview, usually two, three HRs attend. One takes notes about the interview, the other is, is just focusing on the personality, and then the third one is asking the questions. So if we take that, the hourly rate of each HR and multiply it by three, and then multiply it by the number of people who they're assessing, this is the actual cost that you're directly paying in money of interviewing people. So imagine we were able to save all that money and now the HRs will have, they were able to focus on things that matters most to them. And then they left all the interviewing to be done by the AI where they can only get the most fit candidates to the job. Of course, uh, they, what uh, the add-on was uh, with the, in terms of an AI powered video assessment is the in-depth psychometric analysis reports that is generated from the video. So they don't have to purchase additional, let's say, uh, assessments and send them to the candidates where they can easily manipulate, manipulate these uh, personality assessment tests usually. Of course, if we jump back to the last two points, they were able to reduce time to hire by 90% and increase in candidate engagement of 87%. This was all done 
for the in terms of talent acquisition or for the hiring uh, for the, this telecom communication uh, telecommunication company in in Oman. Of course, this is not the only thing that is being utilized for. All the AI element is mainly used for the company to make a better and faster decision. And this was their uh, achievement, what they were able to do in five days. Jumping to another application of the AI video assessment, uh, one of our success stories with Hyperplay uh, companies, a fintech company, which used it on their own employees as a training and development. So my, you might wonder, how would this even work? How would I use a video assessment for other applications? Basically, imagine you have hundreds of salespeople and you have released a new product. And you want to know if these salespeople understand your product. Do they pitch it perfectly or not? How would you do that? You, in, in the traditional way, you would have to sit with each group and ask them the same questions over and over again, just to make sure uh, to understand this person is actually answering correctly. This answer has some weaknesses when it comes to question number two and three and four. So doing that takes a lot of time and energy, honestly, from the HR in training uh, and even the, the sales manager with them when they re, uh, release a new product. So they had the same, same issue, uh, Hyperplay, where we introduced the video assessment tool and they have used that actually in their own, on their own employees. They sent out all questions, similar questions to all their employees in the sales department. They set out, they added the model answer, they added the keywords expected, and they sent them to their employees. The employees then answered their, uh, through videos at the turn of their convenience. And then the HR were able, or the sales manager at that time, time was able to detect if uh, these candidates answer these questions correctly. These candidates have some weaknesses when answering these couple of questions. So they were able to actually automate the training session. They were able to get the personalities of their own employees and even considered moving some of them from one department to another based on their personality. Of course, when you get the personality analysis of an employee, you can even actually uh, find the gap skills analysis. You can actually introduce courses. You can even uh, have courses tailored to their personality in order to enhance, let's say, uh, uh, the, let's say, uh, when it comes to sales, you can introduce if, they, if they're way weak in uh, openness. You can actually have a mentorship, how to be more open to new ideas. You can do many different stuff or would you get this such amount of uh, information? So this was a case study that was used in, in Hyperpay. We were able to do uh, to reduce cost and time, of course. Uh, it was unbiased, and they were able to get the personality analysis. And most importantly, it was flexible and convenient for everyone, for the employees themselves and for the ones who are uh, assessing these uh, employees. We jump to the next slide. I'm going to just give a small brief ex uh, example of how organizations are actually using the same tool in different applications. One of them is in, in the medical field. And you might wonder how is that even possible? How are you using video assessment in medical fields? And basically back in, in COVID times, we had a situation where one of the clients, uh, we had a full lockdown and no one was able to go and visit any doctor at that time. So, and uh, many people were wondering, am I having a flu or am I having a COVID symptoms? So one of the doctors, what they did is they sent out the video assessment to their own patient and they added the keywords that are related to a COVID symptoms, basically. And they added a model answer. Basically, they sent out these videos or assessment to these COVID patients, potential COVID patients, let's say. And based on what they were saying, they were able to detect all oh, these candidates or these applicants actually mentioned these following keywords, which means, oh, they have a high priority of having COVID, or no, these didn't mention only of these words, they're just having a regular normal flu. So imagine the same tool is being utilized within the same organization in different departments, in different applications. So, and this is the beauty of this uh, artificial intelligence tool, basically. So if we want to just sum up, Basically, it's being utilized for hiring, assessing, whatever that you're assessing for, training, educating, surveying. You can even send that as surveys to get actual real feedback of people and see the uh, reactions on a product, whatsoever, organization, filtering out, and uh, actually developing your own employees uh, within the same organization. Uh, just to jump to the, before we finalize, of course, we're going to leave 10 minutes for Q&A. 
uh, anyone who send us, uh, you, you can uh, schedule with us uh, through Calendly, a one-on-one -on -one session. And of course, if you're interested, we, we're offering 20% discount on Elevatus Evasus solution for anyone who's interested to, to learn more or even to use uh, Elevatus. And finally, if you need more information, uh, Dima, uh, you can directly contact Imran Youssef, our amazing partner at Antal and Rethink HR, basically, where he will provide you with all the information you need and, uh, of course, uh, help you achieve the dream that uh, to, to automate all the processes when it comes to training and hiring uh, with them. So thank you very much. And please, uh, let's have, if anyone have any questions, we're more than happy to answer all your questions. Lovely, Yakub. Lovely presentation, Dima and Yakub. Very well done. Uh, I'm sure you are all uh, blown away with the technology as we were <clears throat> when we when we engaged with them. It's an amazing technology, flawless. Uh, the way you the way you're gonna use, especially in the hiring part, is you know usually whenever there is an, a there's a position, they're like you know, 100, 200, 250 CVs you have, right? You're gonna bring those CVs down to 50. Usually they're like 50 candidates who are a good fit for a role that looks like that, right? And and, and in traditionally, we used to call at least 15 people on a face-to-face -face interview out of those 50 because we first call two, three, they are not good fit. Then we call another two, three, and then another two, three. So with this technology, what you do is, for, the, for the, your top 50 people, you're gonna send the video, uh, the link for the video assessment. They're gonna take an assessment. Uh, by the way, usually it used to take what? It, it takes six to eight weeks. Once you interview one candidate, it takes a week to arrange it, uh, another week to, to do the interview. And then you are interviewing more candidates, two, three more candidates. So it takes another two weeks. And then the decision maker is not available. He's flying, he's outside, he's not available another week or so, so it easily takes between six and eight weeks between the interviews, right? Now imagine if you can send a link to, to, uh, to 50 candidates, they can fill it in within 24 and 48 hours at their own convenience, and the decision makers and the hiring authority is gonna take, is gonna get a link to that video. So either they are at their home or they are uh, in the taxi or they're at the airport, you know, we are we are all we are, we are here on this device all day. So they can simply look at the video interviews through their mobile devices, smartphones, and they can even comment there that oh, you know what, I like this guy. Oh no, I don't like this guy because it is it takes another week for the decision maker to come together and discuss about a candidate. And the candidate by that time, oh my God, he has he has moved over. He has already married and he has already have kids by the time you get back to them. So imagine <laughs> within 48 hours. The candidate take the assessment within 24 hours. You you look at the videos and you give your feedback, and it's like within five days you're ready to hire a guy. Definitely, thank you, thank you, Imran. I think uh, Mer Mercy Matthew, you have a question. Uh, if you can unmute your mic, you can ask the question. I have also a question. Um, hi. Okay, I just have a quick question. Does your AI um, have the ability to predict personality? Uh, because if it can't, then it's going to be impossible to promise unbiased decision, both conscious and unconscious bias. So do you have something inbuilt there that can actually predict the personality of the employee that has been, in, uh, the candidate that has been interviewed? Okay, thank you very much for your question. Um, basically, our uh, AI uh, have an accuracy of 85% uh, when it comes to videos in English. So. The, uh, what we a lot of companies asked us to include that matching percentage of a particular job, let's say with a personality, and we at Elevators we refuse to do that at any stage. What we are actually asking companies to do is from the personality analysis gen generated, this is an extra information that will help you in making a better decision. So let's say you you found someone that their openness is a bit low. You can still ask, call them for an interview and ask them better questions. How would you handle new ideas constructed to you or forced uh, on you in a way? How would you react in, in such a behavioral uh, uh, scenarios, let's say? So in no way we're, we're, the, the AI is being judgmental or actually penalizing the candidate. We didn't do that in our system, at least. Uh, 
it's actually only separated and it's only giving you extra insights where you at the end of the day have to ask better questions when you see when you notice there is something a lack in an area of a personality it just gives you more insights to ask the better questions when it comes to the final interview for example uh, i hope i answered your question if this is exactly your what's your question yeah thanks um yes it's it did um, just one more question. You spoke a lot about the bulk hiring. Um, does it mean that your software does only bulk hiring? Do you also, can I also use your software for um, hiring executives, manager, roles, CEOs, and all that? Uh, yeah, because you know, when we are looking at hiring CEOs or executives, there are some particular kind of traits we wanna see in them. So how effective and efficient is your AI for me to be able to select the, uh, the right CEO or the right uh, top level management to fill a particular role. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah Mercy, uh, you know, actually we, we, are, we are an executive search firm and we are using this uh, in, 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 uh, when, we are, when we are dealing with some of, the, some of the senior management. Now, the biggest challenge there is, as you know, the C-suite you know, do you really want to send a video assessment to a C-suite, especially in this part of the world, you know, in the Middle East, you know, they, they, they have a certain, uh, you know, way of doing things. So here, uh, but you can definitely do that, you know, if, if the, if the, if the C-suite and the senior management are, are open to that. And if you do it, it's an amazing tool. I mean, as you see the psychometric assessment part, it is, it generates you the big five personality report, which is exactly, which is actually at the core of the whole, the, the, all the psychometric assessment in the world. At the bottom of it, they all come back to this big five personality model. Um, and we have, you know, not only the validity that Yakub is seeing there, but we have used it. I mean, I've taken like 10 different psychometric assessments, and then I test the system uh, on, on myself. And I found it very, very surprisingly, uh, you know, pretty accurate. It's like 90% it was describing me uh, in so many ways. So definitely, you know, again, psychometric assessment uh, you never make a decision based on psychometric assessment, right? It's just a, it's just an indicator. I, I usually put 33% weightage on the psychometric assessment, 33% interview, and 33% on reference check. So for that, as in uh, building an initial point of view of the candidate, I think it's a fantastic tool. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to elaborate and explain. Thank you. Uh, nice, nice solution you've got here. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy. Uh, I think there is a question from- I think Raj uh, also had a question. From Mr. Abdul Khaliq. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we have a question from Abdul, uh, Abdul Khaliq and I think from uh, uh, Klasa Khaliq. Uh, sorry, your name is, uh, if you, uh, I think uh, you had a question from uh, Sharjah, if I'm not mistaken. All right, just to go back to Abdullah Khaliq uh, question, do you have psychometric assessment for current employees on senior positions? Basically, uh, the, the psychometric assessment is being utilized for uh, all, all applicants. It doesn't matter if you're a senior or a junior. It's um, uh, the AI is analyzing the facial expressions and the tone and what you're saying and is actually generating a personality. Uh, yeah. I think this is your question. <laughs> Abdul Khaliq here. Go ahead, Abdul Khaliq. Yes, how are you? Everyone hope everyone is good here. Actually, the psychometric assessment for the current employees, like you can say that we have almost 300 employees, okay? And if some of the employees are on the senior position, like you can say the mid-senior positions. So yeah. they are working in our organization from last, like you can say from six to seven years. So we want uh, assessment on this candidate because you know from digital transformation and these type of things. So we want to see either they are adaptable for these things for new changes or not. So for that purpose, what we are as a talent acquisition team leader, what I'm thinking, and even it's a part of learning and development and organization development also. So uh, we can make a psychometric assessment for the senior positions you can say. So we, we already know their behavior. We already know their, even you can say the skills. 
but again now you know the time is changing now they are working in our organization from many like many years so for that purpose this is my specific question like okay for the new uh, new candidates i do understand okay so what kind of help like i can get uh, through this channel okay right. um if i may uh, yeah so so what happens is usually you know it's a it's a process right when you are when you're going to assess the whole organization you know you have to take care of the psychology especially the senior yes. people you can bring those people on board uh, that okay you know what let's let's use this system for all the new hires right and once they get on board on that it's like after a month or two this is how we go about it you can say you can either organize a training program and you can have their feedback or you can have you know a, a, a you know you need to have a little bit of success if you have some success at the hiring part when you're hiring new people and you can show these senior people then eventually more of the people can get get on board and then you can you can use the system to exactly what you're saying you you can set up a standard so here here is here is another idea for example the values of your company right i'm sure you have you have your values so you have a session on values or you have a session on the strategy or on the vision right and then you ask those people that hey you know what we want every one of us who have attended to take take this video assessment and respond uh, so that we make sure that everybody get the values and the vision of the company so once once they respond to that uh, now you you have all the data available and you can you can analyze the data and you can be very upfront that you know part of this is 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 the psychometric assessment that also tells us a little bit about your personalities uh yakub you have you you, you want to add something else to that uh, actually you answered correctly what i uh, like you took the words from my mouth you you answered that perfectly um so yeah as everyone said nothing to add extra on it khalid doesn't look convinced like no 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 really it's not about okay i got it for sure once we have to start the trend in our organizations that once we are hiring the new uh, candidates or employees so we are going through the psychometric assessment so that gradually we can bring that changes to our senior level management as well you know one extra so, thing if i may add you will be surprised how uh, when we first started actually uh, a lot of companies had a concern would actually let's say 40 50 60 years old people record videos and we do have actually some assessment where uh, actually many assessment where people could just come in and uh, record a video especially these days with zoom meet uh, slack uh, we're using a video on every single day uh, live i'm yes, uh, positive yes. these seniors people are on using zoom at the moment so this has no change whatsoever on them relax it, it, they are more adapted if you ask me this question a year and a half ago i would tell you you would have some challenges you were you would need to raise awareness but today just send them a video and they will be like oh another video okay let's do it <laughs> maybe you should try it out uh, i'm positive you're going to get the good yeah exactly i just need you know sometime uh, i just feel like some people's got even you know scared about that uh, i don't know what kind of assessment they are going to bring through that video or maybe they are going to bring some sort of technicals or you can say the skills wise so you know it take for sure a time but for sure it need a proper tool so that people even didn't get scared okay mm -hmm. uh, about this psychometric assessment you know once we are going to announce that we are going to take a psychometric assessment for the management so there is kind of you know talking about that uh, so that's the only thing like how we can implement so we need a proper tool so that it got easy for the uh, od department and as well as for the employees definitely so, one extra thing that might help help you a lot is the introduction video abdullah so basically when you have an introduction video where you're welcoming the applicants and say mm -hmm. we just want to learn more about you to get your feedback to get uh, to assess, you know a simple introduction video we, from our experience and the, the conversion rate increased about 80% just from having a simple video welcoming the applicants it makes a big big difference so uh, and a lot of banks are you actually recording high quality videos just to have it as a as a welcoming message makes a big big difference uh, of course you we were more than happy to support you in in uh, a poc to to try that out as well you can reach out directly to imran and we can maybe take it a step by step and towards uh, achieving the, 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 
that's something that you're looking thank for. You so much, Mr. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. One final comment, Abdul Khalik, because you are the head of TA. Uh, let me let me talk about the elephant in the room. What happens is, you know, when with that talent acquisition professional within the organization, they are being pressured by so many employees to to hire people. Oh, you know what? This is my set of uncle. This is my relative. You know, consider him, right? Now, imagine if you if you if all all the new hires go through the same process, have the same question. You are building a proof and a data that you know uh, that the whole process is clean transparent and and really available for anybody to look at it so uh, so nobody can also put pressure that's one and second also please don't forget that psychometric assessment is not only used to assess the people but also listen you know all of us have strengths and weaknesses nobody nobody i mean nobody all of us right so one of the very important application of having psychometric assessment is to know for my boss, as an Imran boss, how to manage Imran the best way. Once he understand my weaknesses, my low points, he need he will learn how to manage me, what ticks me, what motivates me. Once he understand that, he will be able to manage me better and bring the most out of me. So that is also a very good, uh, you know, case for you to talk to the senior management that you know we need to roll this thing out uh, in in the whole organization. Perfectly, perfectly yeah. explained. Thank you so much. Really, it's now now I got satisfied. <laughs> yeah, you know, as Imran mentioned, a lot of especially in case A, you're trying to combat, let's say, unfairness where someone gets someone relative to them, and through the AI, which is unbiased, you can actually automate the process, and you cannot just simply move a candidate who scored ten percent and send them to the higher, uh, send them an offer. So through the video assessment, through the AI, you will remove all this unfairness, uh, unfairness uh, from the whole application in, in recruiting. So it, it has a lot of advantages, honestly. Yeah, exactly. um, I think there was uh, just a question in the chat. Is it mandatory for entry level as uh, for a video assessment? Basically, you can use a video assessment at any stage or whenever you want. You can use it as a screening tool, as a very first early stage, as a mandatory step. You can use it uh, as a first interview, as a second interview. Uh, you, it, it's up to you. It's, uh, you. You can customize the pipelines and simply select when do you want the applicants to do the video assessment. I should have to answer the question. Oh, uh, who, sorry? Sorry, I think Ratch had a question. Ratch, if you just want to unmute yourself, maybe ask. Uh, I think, yes. Uh, there, there is Yustra. Can we use it as a language assessment tool? Of course. You basically, uh, you send out the questions and you select the language, for example. Uh, and you can watch the videos at any time you, you want. It supports five languages, uh, English, Arabic, Swedish, uh, Portuguese, and uh french so you can use it if you even if you're using it for another language let's say uh spanish for example you can simply write the questions in spanish and the candidate would ans actually answer in spanish but the ai wouldn't come into place in that part you would have to watch all the videos one by one to be honest with you would it detect the fluency sorry just let me uh, yeah, would it detect the fluency level? Basically, uh, if you remember, I, uh, I, I mentioned uh, the fluency level. No, uh, it would not detect the fluency level. Uh, this is something we might be working on in the future. Uh, but it's actually a great idea to, to maybe add it to the pipeline uh, and speed up the development process of such a tool. It would need a lot of development from our side. Uh, but at the moment, sadly, it does not detect how fluent the person is, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, we are, Yaqub, we are competitor of SAP Success Factors providing HR solution to large organizations. Our flagship client is Irish Telecom. So you, I just asked you, uh, the panel's uh, con contact information, yeah, of Mr. Abro. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, uh, definitely we will more than happy to support uh, at, uh, on anything you need. Hello, please provide the contact. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any questions uh, before we wrap up? Jakub, you know, when, you know I, I did my research, you know, before we, we tie up and, you know, I went to all the big, big companies around the world. And again, I think this is the question of Abrar as well. 
one of the two very important reasons we partnered with, with elevators was number one was the pricing, uh, you know, pricing. And number two is the implementation. This is very, very important. If you go to the big boys around the world, they have a whole story about implementing and the training and hundred thousand dollar to, to get to set it up and implement the whole system is just so complicated. And even them, you have a, they have a waiting list because post COVID this video assessment has caught is, is on fire, you know, because this is one of, one of the, you know, safest way, you know, uh, to, to keep your hiring people, you know, uh, safe from COVID, right? So you don't have to meet 10, 15 people anymore. You're meeting one or two. Uh, so please, Yaku, talk about your, your implementation, you know, your technology implementation and how fast it is. Uh, that, that was very exciting for me. Thank you. Thank you, Imran. Thank you for reminding, reminding us about this. Basically, elevators can be used as a standalone tool, uh, Everex solution or Eversus, the video assessment tool uh, solution that we demoed today. The implementation time to go live with Eversus solution does not take more than five minutes. So uh, let's say we wanna, you want to decide to start right now. In five minutes, you will have your full branding ready and up and running, and you can start immediately assessing applicants or uh, use it uh, for interviews. The same thing applies for uh, the Everex solution. You can have a full career branding solution and up and running uh, with your own branding, customized as the way you like in just 10 minutes. Of course, uh, I would like also to mention that uh, Eversus, the tool, the video assessment tool is integrated with SAP success factor with Oracle. And we built the solution in a way where it can be integrated with any third party solution through uh, RESTful APIs. So if you're using another HRMS or ERP system that is not integrated at the moment with elevators, we can do the custom integration uh, if required. Yeah, uh, I think there's, I asked Imran. Imran, there's a question for you maybe? Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna the chat, that's fine. Okay, I would like to, yeah, so can you share a demo that you can look at the tool on the own? Definitely, so anyone who approached us or sent us a This is, this is Yakub, this, uh, this could be cloud-based, right? It is a cloud-based solution, yeah. Can I, can I have can it we, in my server? Sorry? Can I have it locally in my server for, for privacy purposes? Yeah, if this is required as on-premise, yeah, we can do that as well. All right. Uh, I think uh, also can, yeah. So anyone who needs to know more information about uh, elevators, you can directly reach out to Imran or you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Adima, if you can just leave the link of Calendly on the chat so anyone can okay. copy paste it and Imran's not, uh, email address as well. And we will be more than happy to jump on a one-on-one -on -one coaching session or just to discuss overall the video assessment and how we can help you utilize it in your organization for different applications. Okay. Thank you very much. I think, uh, sorry? No, I can't see where, where to send the message. In the chat. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you everybody. If you could just turn on your video for one second, we'll just take a quick picture for social media and then, okay, I'll just give every two minutes to put on their video. I really want to thank uh, the super superstar who, stars who have arranged this conference and worked very hard behind the scene. Uh, we have Mark here and we have Nikita uh, and obviously the Maroon who has led the whole conference. I really want to thank all of you for this fantastic uh, flawless arrangement. Uh, it was really a pleasure. Uh, and I'm, I'm, sweet. I'm, I'm looking at some of my great friends on this call and we'll, we, we need to be in touch. They are smiling. So we need to be in touch, guys, very, very soon. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Seriously, thank you, everyone, for attending. Definitely. Good Good to see you, that bro. was lovely. So. Yeah. If the picture is taken, then I think so we leave. <laughs> definitely. Yep, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. A party, a party is not over without a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Good to see you all. Thank Amazing. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. day. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kuban. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. -bye.